Hey guys, it's Saturday. I know why you're here. You know why I'm here. We are going to swatch. It's time for our Saturday Random Swatch Fest. And yeah, we're gonna look at 10 fabulous polishes. Now usually, I just pick them completely from random from my stash of untried polishes. Today, instead, what I did, because I had that polish haul where I didn't show you live application on anything, so I just had too much stuff to get through, today I picked a color uh, polish from each color from that stash so that you could see 10 of those polishes in action. We're gonna get right to it as soon as I tell you what's on my lips. This is one of those Revlon uh, Colorburst lip gloss thingies um, in Hot Pink Rose. That's what that is. Okay, okay. Oh, and also I tried that turquoise um, Milani eyeliner on my eye today. I really like that. And I put back on what, what, this blue that I already showed you if you were watching my last video. I had to put it back on today for good reason, and we'll get to that in a minute. So let's get started. I didn't show you how this lovely Zoya Matte Velvet Polish swatched and I'm gonna go ahead and show you today because it deserves its day in the sun. Come on, people. I'm gonna show you two coats. I'm gonna show you matte and then I'm gonna put a, a gloss top over it so you can see how beautiful it is when it's glossy. It's so nice. Again, it's called Mosh. It's called Posh. <laughs> And um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And this one was on recommendation for me from Stacy. So thanks, Stacy. And let's look at it. for pink I'm showing you that Dermalect um, polish that I randomly found in the clearance bin and it is called Moxie and it's just kind of a regular old pink. Let's take a look. All right, for orange, we're going to look at that Neon Nails Ink Polish. Now, I was not impressed with this one, guys, but I'm gonna show it to you um, probably over undies, I think, because, well, here's what. I'm gonna show it to you on its own, and then I'll show it to you over undies, so you can kind of get a look and see if it's even worth it to wear it with undies. So, let's take a look. I didn't tell you yet. This is called Westbourne Grove. Keep your pants on. I was gonna tell you. I know sometimes I forget, but today I'm not gonna forget. So, Westbourne Grove. Okay, so for yellow, we're going to look at that gold satin glam that I picked up from the CVS clearance, and this is called Go Gold. It really is a subdued gold. It's definitely more like leaning towards taupe or bronze, but it's really, really subdued. So anyway, this one is rather lovely. I always like um, the finish on these satin glam ones, so let's see how it swatches. Next 
Next up, I'm gonna show you that green Orly that I picked up um, from TJ Maxx. And it's called Green Apple, and look, it's just juicy. It looks exactly like a green apple, a Granny Smith apple, I think exactly. So lovely, let's take a look. Okay, for blue, we are going to look at almost the only blue that I picked up in that huge haul of nail polishes, which is shocking for me because I love blue polish so much. But besides my A plus polish, this was the only blue I had to show you out of that haul. And it is CoverGirl Skylight. So let's see how this little baby works, how the formula is. Let's check her out in action. Okay, so for purple, I'm going to show you that Triple Shine Draw Machine. That one that I told you was very sheer. I'm gonna go ahead and show you today how it looks. Um, maybe in time for you to stop yourself from buying it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Buy it if you wanna buy it, of course. But the thing is, is in the bottle, it has that beautiful just opalescence and it's just, mm, it's really pretty. But once on the nail, it's a little bit lost because it's so sheer. I'm gonna show you for yourself so you can decide, okay. All right, for neutral, this one's kind of, um, I'm, I'm fudging it a little bit because it actually does look kind of brown on the nail to me, even though in the bottle you can see a lot of pink and purple. But once you have it on the nail, it doesn't show that quite as much, and so I consider it more of a neutral than anything else. Um, so, you know, you decide what you think. But anyway, this is Spa Ritual, and it is called Freedom. And yeah. A good formula. I just noticed it has on um, big bold letters on the back of these spa ritual bottles vegan. That's good. For my glitter polish today, I'm showing you OPI To Be or Not To Beagle from the Peanuts Collection. This is that really fun multicolored glitter with, um, it's in a clear base and it has black glitter, like little tiny pieces and bars and stuff. It's just all kind of crazy. Kind of um, reminds me of like they tried to put like a kid's room into a bottle. It's just like bam, like all crazy messed up things cut up, um, yeah, all your books are ripped up. At least that's how it looks at my house. So. Anyway, let's look at two coats of this little lady. And last but certainly not least is my A plus polish of the week. And this is the one that I wanted to just leave on all week. I was wearing it in my last video because I had swatched it and I was like, oh, M.
Alright guys, so that was the whole thing. Sorry if I was a little weird today. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm in one of those moods. I've got my high pony on and um, <laughs> that means I'm ready to mess around, I guess. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. So anyway, I hope you found something here that you liked. And um, yeah, thanks for stopping by as always. I love to have you come and leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite polish of the week was. You may not believe it, but I actually write them down. I Google them. I put them on my wish list and it's a long wish list and it shouldn't be because I have way too much stinking polish, but I do. And so please tell me what you were loving to wear this week. And um, yeah. Have a good weekend. Is this our last Saturday Swatch Fest before December? Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Okay, guys. Well, then I guess our next Saturday Swatch Fest, I'll see you in December. But please stop by for some of my videos in between now and then. And I will see you back next time. Have a great day. Bye. I feel like I'm looking at myself here thinking, you're going cuckoo, a little bit like on Frozen where the little girl's like, it gets a little lonely. What does she say? Just watching the hours click by, tick tock, tick tock. Except mine is like the opposite problem. Mine is I have too much crazy in my life. <laughs> I think I've embraced the crazy. I think there's so much crazy in my house, in my life right now, that this is me embracing the crazy. This swatch fest was me being like, whatever, it's crazy in here, you're crazy. <sighs> you guys know what I mean? How was your Thanksgiving? Was it great? Mine was great. I got to see my mama, my dada. I got to see one of my brothers. I have six brother six brothers and I got to see one and his sweet wife and his sweet three children and it was fabulous so anyway what do you guys think about the high pony do you ever rock the high pony oh it's the high side pony that's what I'm rocking today it's not even that high, but it's the side pony. Yeah, I was taking myself back to like fourth grade with this hairdo today. Hi, Lincoln. When I wear my hair like this, it means I'm ready to get out the finger paints and smear them all over my face and call it a day. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't show up today with finger paint smeared all over my face, okay? You feel me? You stay at home moms, you feel me? Yeah. Got one of them over here trying to take over the video.